right you are a whole lot staying on the outskirts of Dartmoor on a family holiday but the lady we're staying with or the cottage we're renting has 70 acres of woodland attached so it'd be rude not to really wouldn't it I'm a little bit laden at the moment because I'm also doing a video on a comparison of stoves and things like that should be a cracking little night though lots and lots and lots of deers calling to each other at night time so you never know i might get some of them so i'm just going to put my feet up whack a steak on the fire not the fire the stove and uh see what the night takes me don't think it'd be a rip roaring one but you never know i might get butt buggered by a big old randy stag and one way to find out Ta-da! Well then a quick little look at tonight's setups. There we have the TWXL for my lounging hammock. LK35 with all the gubbins with it. Down sleeping bag, White Wolf I believe it is. That is my Hennessy Explorer, um, which I've just tested out. And as I did, my little toggle up here decided to snap and I went flat on my Kyber. But there you go, them's the brakes innit? Didn't even catch it on film. The dogs have already spooked one deer, so I'm half hoping I'm going to get to see some more tonight. But what a cracking little spot. There's a lake and that down the bottom, I might go and investigate later. But I just want to do a little vid at the moment of camping kit for noobs. So I won't say those words about bringing you back, but I'll bring you back. Yeah, only got a few stoves with me tonight, but I was going to make a video to try and show any newbies how cheap it can be. I need to pull this off because all this water is boiling. Filthy bugger. Oh. Dog! Do one! <coughs> well, what can I say? Out here on holiday with my family. Thought, why not creep a quick overnighter? Big old chunk of steak on the go, brew in my hand. Dirty bogging dog. I'm going to get your mum to come and collect you, you know that. But, uh, happy days. How are you mongrels been? I just tried to do an informative little video, but as usual, I fumble my words because I never rehearse a thing. <laughs> Who 
Who gives a monkey's eh? Seen loads of deer knocking about. This cup keeps burning my lips, which is great. Hopefully, my good lady will bring me down some um, port brandy. Would you be nice? You're a beautiful bitch. You ain't having me steak, though. Oh, come on, come and have butchers at this. Oh, a nice, thick cut of sirloin. Oh, get in my belly. And the does want some, I can tell you ain't having it. Yeah, it should be quite a chilled night. I don't know what the night will bring. Hopefully, I'm hoping if the night stays clear, I might get a few star trails. Who knows? If so, you'll see them later on. And when the dogs are buggered off, every night I've been walking around here with my dogs, you've heard the old grunt of the deer getting ready in the rutting season. So I'm hoping if they don't see me and the wind's in the right direction, I might be able to catch a glimpse of a few deer. Or they could get the horn and mount me. Win-win! You listen to a fat lad waffle now, aren't you? I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> You see, I know there's a lot of talk by a lot of people about how great it is having dogs with them when they camp. And I love mine, love mine a bit. But I ain't going to lie to you, they're dicks. There is no way I'll get a peaceful night with them around. Might forget saying, I don't know, Jack Russell, whip it or something. Get in the hammock with me. Unlike these turbocharged knobheads that are constantly on the hunt. Finger bum, bugger lugs. Steak time. Wait. Those deer are just mooching straight past us. About 70 yards away. This is when I wish I had a better camera. They stopped, had a little look at the dogs and carried on. I need to get my missus to take these herbs back. Yeah, you can tell you're in the middle of nowhere. That was awesome. Just had a few deer come through. You can hear the owls, you can hear the stags gibbering it. So, uh, should be a good night. My good lady's coming down to collect the dogs now because the house is only 800 yard or so away, but I'm in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, then I'll set up properly, see what happens. Bastard animals. My good lady's joined me to come and get the dogs. Look at the barnet on that. I'm dating Brian Bloody May. How you going, bub? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Bloody full moon freaked me right out, though. Oh, yeah, exactly. I think I feel there's owls and deer grunting and the odd occasional well, You'll fart. be all right, you'll be fine. I know I will. I've got a big knife. <laughs> I'll be in bed. <laughs> Comfortable. Right. Wakes up in the morning then, sweetheart. Okay, right. Kiss you on camera and everything. Oh, that won't be nice, though. She's yet. coming wild camping on Thursday. Oh, no. <laughs> up the moor. Well, just come back for me first shovel, Recky. And I don't mind saying, it's a different beast when you can hear the old horny stags grunting and groaning. You want to get zipped up quick. Just checking it out now. It's uh, a bit overcast. 
hopefully it'll clear a bit because I'd like to get a bit of astrophotography or something on the go. I don't know if you can see my setups. Beautiful night, there's plenty of wildlife hooting and cooing and screaming. Hopefully it should be an interesting one. I'll uh, bring you back. Oof. The Dartmoor Nighttime Chorus. There's footprints all around me. Definitely there in the wood just up the way. This is wicked. If this was my first time ever wild camping, I'd be hooked immediately. It's nine o'clock at night, still pretty early. I'm in my lounge hammock still. Still by the light of that. It's amazing here. Trying out my uh, snug pack travel blanket for warmth, as you can see. And it is good here. Yeah? I don't know what the temperature is. I don't really care. I know it ain't warm. Just about getting a uh, breath come out. Oh, this is cracking. Just wish I had some beer. <laughs> Never mind. Don't look like I'm going to get any uh, decent shots of the stars tonight. What I might do is get my head down for an hour or so and see if it cleared up. But probably not. Who cares? Oh, it's lovely. Another little cheap buy light off of Amazon god I love being a beggar <sighs> don't know what tour to take my missus up on Thursday <laughs> all thrills for her though I'm taking her up in a um, the old French commando F110 make sure she's got an arctic bag though because she feels the cold bless her and then I'll try and spook her with towels from the Beast of Bodmin. She's a tough old bird. She'll thank you for saying that. Waffling crap again, Lee. Brew time. I don't normally have a shopping bag with me, but uh, as I say, I was doing a video about stove, so I like to put them all in sank. Sank. Yeah, proper impressed with that. That blanket, that's toasty. We roasty look toasty. Certainly makes a difference when you're sitting in. Certainly makes a difference when you're sitting in a hammock, just lounging. It's not so I regret giving up smoking. The right old misty one, full moon. Just want some star shots. Never mind. There's been a few grunts from the deer, but uh, keep missing them every time I turn my phone on. 
no doubt I'll get some tonight. Trouble is, I'm in the uh, in that Hennessy. Got the old flaps entrance. Katona's chasm. So if they do start getting aggro, I'm buggered. I ain't getting out of that quick. And I don't think I could knock out a deer. I think I'm pretty confident I couldn't knock out a deer. You take your chances, though, don't you? I'd rather take on a deer than the missus. She has the strength of a lesbian. Little things make you happy, don't they? Don't know if you can hear that behind. I can't see I've got a light in my face. Definitely same mooching. Guess that girl have to chuck me stove at it. I've got enough of them. You've got to love a Coleman stove, that's boiled already. <laughs> or as near as damn it. A quality bitter kit like. That'll do. I ain't got asbestos lips. Do that whirly gig. Good viewing, in it? Watching a fat lad make a cup of coffee. In next week's edition, I'll make a sandwich. so far it's about two o'clock in the morning now um i set my camera up to take some night shots and crawled in bed thought i'd grab myself a couple of hours go up and it'll work anyway a cacophony of uh, sounds coming around here all over brilliant absolutely brilliant but as i was laying here there was a lot of cracking right in front of me a lot of heavy grunting and it was definitely a big male deer anyway I'll lay here, he'll probably bugger off. He didn't. So I thought, better get up, get near me camera. Because if he does kick off, I want to film my own death. So, camera still had ages left. So I decided to uh, just make myself known. So I made myself hot chocolate. Done a bit of running on the spot to keep warm. You know, just a bit of shadow boxing. Keep warm and if he was looking at me, he knows treble hard. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, brought the camera in with us now. No doubt they'll kick off again. He's gone. But it was a bit too close for comfort, I don't mind saying. Um, yeah, so I'll keep this on now, or with me now, just in case. Because I'm basically a horizontal, ugh, horizontal punch bag for the thing. He might have gone to get some mates. Morning. It's now seven o'clock in the morning. And I've just been woken up by my good lady and the dogs. It's quite handy. Well, I got some sleep last night eventually. Probably went off about three, half three. Ooh. 
Ooh, after my Mexican standoff. Bloody cold. There's frost on the cars at the house, apparently. So, yeah, it must have been hovering around zero. Nice and warm in here. And I've got to say, this Hennessy is a comfy bloody hammock, no matter what pain in the arse it is to get in and out of. But uh, I'm going to get a brew on now, I think. And maybe knock some sausages up. Or will my good lady just tell me to hurry and up and get the hell out of here? Just get me brew on. And then I'll get me skates on. Run, woman. You might have found all those pants you're wearing. Oi, Brian May. No. Come down here waking me up. No. She's rushing me. That's what she's doing. I'm still going to get a brew on. And I'm still going to get some sausage on. And then I'll be getting my stomp on home. Is that right, Brian? Yeah. Cheers, Brian Blad. That's one of the other homemade meth stoves. After making a point about the reliability of my Coleman stove last night during my vid, the thing just proper caught fire. <laughs> but there you go. Luckily, I've got many stoves with me. So Old Faith will come out to the rescue. And it is good. That nail varnish remover works a treat, you know. But it's a little bit more expensive than this. Bangers for Breggy. Cup of coffee on the side, lovely sausages, butcher's choice again, happy days, hoping to catch a sunrise but it's too bleeding misty, first thing my uh, good lady said when she got here is, it's a bit eerie ain't it, you wait till I'll get her up on that moor on Thursday, she's going to cack her pants, me and them deer. That's where I was. Go the obligatory quick scan of the area, leave no trace and all that. I'm going to make my way back up the house now, dive through the shower, take the kids to an amusement park. Woohoo! Well, there's another one done. Cracking night, actually got some kip, which is a bonus. She's got my eye out now to see uh, how many of our grunting four-legged friends I can see walking back. They're everywhere. Great to hear. But I ain't taking any chances with them. Not when they're all horny at least. Stuck around this long as usual. Go see someone, get some help. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Not for you, for me. Ta-ra!